we are here at Light Farms in Salina, Texas, which is just north of Dallas and Frisco. We're gonna take you on a model tour of a home here in Light Farms that is actually on the more affordable side of homes here in Light Farms. Jennifer Fowler and along with my husband and cameraman today, Brandon, <laughs> we run Fowler Realty Team here in the North Texas area and we have people just like you reaching out to us all the time looking to make a move to North Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth and we absolutely love it. So if that's you and you're not quite sure what city is best for you, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All the info is in the description below. But I told you we were gonna take you on a tour of a home here in Light Farms. And y'all, I really love this layout. There's a couple of surprises in here that I really like and I can't wait to show you. So let's get to it right now. Okay, so we have just stepped inside and there's something I want you to know. We're gonna turn around this way for just a minute. This is actually the garage, but it's the sales center right now. So this would be a wall right here, completely closed off. So anytime you walk by that, just know that this is the garage. As soon as you come inside, you have a bedroom and a bathroom right off the front. This Balboa plan is about 2331 square feet with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. There's also a couple of extra rooms that I cannot wait to show you because I think it's just a genius design, especially in a one story house. A lot of the things we're going to see, you don't get in a one story house. You have to have a house that's two stories or 3,000 square feet or more to get some of the things I'm going to show you. So let's keep going. And this is one of the bathrooms that's off the bedroom and the hallway. And as we keep going down the hallway, here's one of the rooms that I wanted to show you. This could be a dining room if you wanted it to be. For me, this would be a nice home office if you wanted to. At some point, you could even close it in if you wanted to, but I like how it's open. It's light and bright. Um, so if you're working from home, especially if you're working from home by yourself, you're not closed in to a cramped space. You get this beautiful open home office. But let's keep going this way. We're gonna go down this hallway and here's something uh, that was a surprise to me that I wanted to show you. So I told you this was a four bedroom home with kind of that flex space that could be used as a dining room or an office. We do have another bedroom over here. But what I love about this space is the extra living room. Now, it might not be that big of a deal to you, but in a one story home, we do not see this very often. Normally this would be upstairs, but here you have it on a one story home. What I love about this space is there's another bedroom behind me. And then here is another bathroom. Cause remember this is a three bathroom home is this is a great space for what we're seeing a lot of today. And that is multi-generational living. So if you have an aging parent or parents or any family member or friend that has to, that is needing to live with you, You've got a bedroom over here that's kind of off in the back with their own bathroom and their own living room space. Or you could use this for, you know, your teenagers. This could be their movie space or their gaming room or really a playroom, anything. Homeschooling, this is another great space. If you are homeschooling and we're seeing a lot of that too, um, this would be the perfect place to set up um, desks, you know, a little art room or whatever it is that you need for homeschooling. So here is a bedroom that's on the other side of this um, secondary living room that I was showing you. And I also wanted to point out that they have North Texas on the wall. So uh, that is about an hour, maybe a little bit less west of Salina, literally just straight west on 380. And speaking of schools here in this area of Light Farms, it is Salina ISD, but there are other areas of Light Farms that is Prosper ISD, even though we are in Salina. So if you're moving to Prosper or Salina, uh, specifically Salina for schools, then you really want to make sure that whatever home you buy is in the school district that you're wanting to be in. 
because there are some cities where there are two different school districts within one city and Salina is one of those cities that has two different school districts. Coming down the foyer and from the two bedrooms, bathroom and living room that I just showed you, now we are entering into the spacious kitchen with this fabulous buffet. I can imagine having all your Thanksgiving food here for your family, a huge charcuterie board with maybe some wine or any party or anytime you're entertaining, this is where you can put all your food so your guests can easily grab what they want and go sit at the table or the living room because this is an open concept space. So it is great for entertaining and not just for entertaining, but cooking your everyday meals, everyday activities on a nice spacious island. And then you've got even a little section over here. This would probably be for me where I put my coffee, just like what they did. So you've got a good coffee station over here. This neighborhood is gas, which is preferred by most chefs. I definitely prefer a gas stove. Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer gas? Do you prefer electric? But in this neighborhood, it is going to be a gas stove. Coming off of the spacious kitchen, you have your breakfast area or your dining table. And this is a pretty big space. I'm not sure you can appreciate it very much on the video, how big of a space this actually is, but this is a pretty big space. But what I wanna show you as we're coming this way is this nice surprise, this long, first of all, it's just a very long wall. So it appears very grand just because it's so big. But I love the detail they have on here and the black wall. You'll have to tell me your thoughts. I am a huge fan of the black accents that are really popular right now in homes. Actually, I feel like it's not too trendy because I feel like black and white is always gonna be in style. It's very classic. But tell me your thoughts on the black wall. I asked my husband if he liked it. He said, mm, yeah. So I guess that means maybe we're not gonna get to have one in our house because he didn't seem too enthusiastic about it, but I absolutely love it. Um, so in this floor plan, in this model, as you can see, you have, it's kind of, I call it stacked. You have your kitchen, then you have your table, and then you have your living room. Um, some people prefer it this way rather than your table to be off to the side. So this way it's stacked. So everybody's in one big room together. This is a very great space. There's two full-size sofas in here, two chairs with a very, very large coffee table and plenty of space to walk around. The TV is on this wall. There is not a fireplace here. Um, that may or may not be a deal breaker for you. Um, some homes offer them, some homes don't offer them at all. Um, so you would want to see if that's something that they offer. But the homes here, I didn't talk about the prices. They start around 419 um, and go about 525 or 530. Um, they are currently offering some incentives um, incentives can change. So, you know, if you're watching this a, a year from now, this is being filmed in November, 2023, they off, are offering incentives. So that's why it's very important for you to take your realtor with you on the very first visit of any model home you go to. Um, some builders are more lenient than others. I know this specific builder requires that you bring your realtor with you on the very first visit. Otherwise you cannot be represented by a realtor if you don't do that. And you need someone to represent you because the contracts are builder sided. So it's very important um, to take your realtor with you so they know what questions to ask to get you the best deal. But I did wanna mention that the prices of the homes are actually more affordable for Light Farms Ranch. Another favorite space of mine is always going to be the master bedroom because I always love to see how different builders design them. And they did a good job on this one. Plenty of space for a king size bed, two nightstands, a dresser, and even on the other side over here, we have a sitting area. So let's take a look at that real quick. Um, so a nice place to just have a chair to read a book or maybe just to wind down at night before you go to bed. Sit in the morning and have your coffee in quiet time. Um, in this house or in this model, they did choose to put the closet directly off of the bedroom instead of the bathroom. But let's go ahead and take a look at this bathroom. This bathroom does have a shower and a tub. Um, sometimes in this price range, you might not get that tub. So if that's a deal breaker for you, that's another thing that we need to talk about and see what, um, what things that certain builders offer. This is not a walk-in shower, but it is pretty spacious. Um, and then you do have your garden tub here with dual sinks, but not dual vanity. And of course you do have a 
door on your toilet room, which I think is very important. So you can see compared to some of the other videos that I've done of other model homes in other neighborhoods in Salina or Prosper, or uh, we've done some in Pecan Square, which is over in Justin, um, every builder is going to be different. And you can see that when you're in the, four, the low 400 price range versus a $700,000 price range, you can see the differences that you get. But what I like is in a neighborhood like Light Farms, where they have tennis courts and pools and a really cool restaurant, um, they have activities. Uh, I think they have about 200 activities a year. There are so many different things that they offer. Pickleball, no, I can't remember. Yes, pickleball courts, bocce ball. Um, there's just a lot that this neighborhood offers that if you purchase a home here at 419,000, or a home that's 700 or 800,000. There was even one we saw here that was listed, it wasn't very new, for 1.8 million. Well, you still get all the same amenities that everybody else gets. And your HOA here in Light Farms does include front yard maintenance. Um, so that's something that's really special as well. But I just love master plan communities where there's a different price range. So it fits most people's budgets, no matter which way you go. So this house, which is in Light Farms, which is in the city of Salina. Salina is about 30,000 in population. It is growing. It's actually the fastest growing city in North Texas. Their expected population years from now is gonna be about over 300,000. But right now, Salina is a small town of about 30,000 with a lot of new construction neighborhoods. It's located about 45 minutes straight north of Dallas and the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. So if travel is a big deal to you, just know that. It is uh, also north of Frisco, which is growing so big that people are going from Frisco up to Prosper and then from Prosper up to Salina. So that gives you a little bit of a feel of where Salina is located. Uh, we have other videos on the town of Salina and also Prosper, Texas, which is just right south of Salina. So make sure you go back, take a look at those and we'll see you on the next one.